I had my jeans split out on me this morning and when something like this happens you really have to take care of it right away or it's going to be spread further and further till it's just unrepairable. And I think I can go ahead and fix this so it looks presentable. Uh, it probably won't be good enough to wear to the mall, but at least you can wear them around the house and uh, they'll look just fine. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the steps that I would use to make this repair. And if you'd like to follow along, that'd be great. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to iron this back to where it should be with a nice press there. That's why you want to catch this as soon as this happens and you never, never want to wash it first because that would really spread this apart. Okay, and now I'm going to take, I have a piece of fusible interfacing and I'm going to slip that in the hole with the fusible part up and it's going to press that seam back together. That's going to be the first step. So get everything lined up just the way it, you want it to be. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to press that down now right on with that fusible inside there. Give it a little seam. looks better already. Now we're going to do a little stitch on this and we'll be back to business as good as new. Okay, now the stitch that I will be using is called a multiple zigzag stitch. It's number nine here where you can see it. Um, now, when I first started sewing, this stitch was always called a mending stitch. I don't know when they changed its name, but most people don't know that this makes a great stitch for repair. So now what I have done, I have set my stitch width at 7.0, which is actually the largest it'll go because I do want it to cover that jean, and that is a pretty good slit. So I'm using a real wide stitch, and I have my stitch length set at 0 0.20, so it's very close together. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, now you want to make sure that you use a thread that matches as close as you can get. And what I'm doing is I'm going to start that tear about a quarter of an inch away from where it actually starts. So it'll give it a little support there on the side. And then I'm lining the tear up with the center of the presser foot. And now we're just going to stitch this down. Try to keep my hands out of the way here for you. And then when you come to the end, just go a quarter of an inch past the actual tear again. I think you're going to be amazed at how well this looks when we're done. Okay, and then I'll take this out and I'll show you what it looks like. Here it is, all finished. And it, you almost can't even see it. I mean, it just looks great. And I'll show you what I do with the inside of it then. Now here's what it looks on the inside with that interfacing. And as you can see, this just pulls right off of there, but normally I would just take it and trim it right around that seam. But I am gonna leave it on here for my jeans because that material might be getting a little thin in that area and it'll help support it. Here I am, all repaired, and I'll bet nobody will even notice this. So the next time you need to repair something, give it a try. Um, I use this on shirts, pants, uh, anything that I need to repair. I always use this stitch. So give it a try. I think you'll be happy with it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.